So I've been making a lot of videos on how you can remove your green screen backgrounds from videos and images recently. Um, in this video, we're going to be going over a problem that I found that you guys were having in the comments on how you can export this background and export a transparent background or export an alpha background. So that way you can simply move this video with out of background into a current or existing project. So if you watch my last video, you're going to be familiar with the next couple steps. What we're going to do first is jump into the fusion page. And once you're in the fusion page, hold shift and space bar. We're going to type in ultra for ultra keyer and hit enter. And once you have your ultra keyer, we're just going to select this dropper here. We're going to drag this into the scene to get rid of the green screen. And I'm not going to go too in depth on this. Um, we're literally just going to use it to key this out real quick. And the next thing that you would do is come back to the edit page. Now this is fine and dandy for this current project. However, if you were to export this, if we disabled this clip below, um, if you were to just export this clip of the pigeons eating this, whatever this is off the ground, um, it would come out with a black background like this. So now we have the background enabled, but you can't see through because now we're having a problem where it's no longer a green screen anymore. It's, it's, a, it's a black screen, and we don't want that. So I'm going to show you how to fix this. If you come back and enable your clip and get rid of the background for a second by disabling it, it's actually a very simple fix. You can come over to the Deliver tab, and when you go ahead and choose your format, this is very important, make sure you choose the QuickTime format. And you got a couple different options for the Kodak. My go-to is the DNX HR, you can feel free to use this GoPro Cineform clip as well. Um, it is a bit smaller of a clip, but I'm going to select the DNX HR. You can go with the DNX HR 444 12-bit, and it's going to be as simple as clicking this box down here for Export Alpha. Once you have that selected, you can go ahead and add the image to your render queue, and then we can just render it out. Just give it a sec. And once your image is rendered out, we can go ahead and remove this guy here and re-enable our image. And I'm just going to bring in our clip that we just rendered out. And as you can see, it has retained the transparent background. So that is how you remove the background from an image or video within DaVinci Resolve and quickly move it to another project. If this was helpful for you guys, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. And if you guys are running into problems, leave a comment down below and I'll be more than happy to make a video on it.